We estimate that approximately 3 million people around Australia currently live in strata title homes, so that's one in 10 Australians. And in our major cities, it's even greater than that. So the proportion is about one in four in Sydney, a quarter of the population in strata. It's also really important because it's a new form of civic relationship and it can be understood as a fourth tier of government in the sense that owners' corporations levy taxes in the form of levies. They also um, set laws governing the behaviour of their residents in the form of bylaws and they also have elected representatives um, as executive committee members um, and run as a democratic system in theory. When you buy a strata titled home, you're buying two things. You buy your lot, which is the airspace within your walls and everything within it, and you also buy a joint share in everything else, which is the common property, so the building and the grounds, but also the rights and responsibilities under the legislation to maintain those buildings and grounds. In our survey of owners, which surveyed over a thousand owners across New South Wales, we asked the question whether they thought that other owners in this scheme had a good understanding of their rights and responsibilities. And more than a third, 36% of people said that no, they thought that the understanding of owners in their schemes about their rights and responsibilities was less than satisfactory. 85% of people in schemes built since 2000 said that there were defects in their schemes and a large proportion of them said that those defects were still existing. And they weren't just those schemes that had been built in the last few years, they were schemes that had been built as far back as 2000. When we're talking about defects, we're talking about things like um, water ingress, so water coming in from outside, leaking roofs, um, cracking of structures, um, internal water leaks and those kinds of things. Some developers set levies too low in order to um, sell their properties to people who have mortgage themselves to a certain amount and then are able to afford a certain amount of levies. Those people buy in, those levies are not set um, high enough. So once the executive committee is made up of individual owners rather than the developer, the uh, books are redone. So you know, two years into the life of a scheme, you can see your levies double. And that really puts a lot of financial pressure on people.